Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be a part one of two, uh, before and after for ketamine infusion treatments. Um, I took it upon myself to enroll with uh, Rocky Mountain Mind and Body for a, uh, a six session ketamine infusion treatment. Um, and generally I make these videos about once or twice a year where I will uh, take it upon myself to um, experience uh, some kind of plant medicine or partake in a ceremony. Um, whether it be ayahuasca or um, Wachuma, which is San Pedro, or uh, peyote, um, I have I have videos those videos up on my YouTube channel as well um, for reference. And I make these videos so that uh, people who are wondering about these things, uh, if they might be considering using these medicines, um, you know, if they're trying to treat any kind of issues that they're having, uh, whether it be trauma or anxiety or anything really that these medicines can help with. I like to take it upon myself to go do these things um, for two, you know, two reasons. One, being to help my own self. Um, and two, so that people, you know, have uh, some kind of reliable, up-to-date testimony on what these things are like. And they can, they know they can also reach out to me on any of my platforms, be it, you know, TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram. Um, I like to be a resource uh, and an advocate for uh, conscious, conscious, uh, substance, consciousness altering substances. Um, you know, that a lot of people don't really have a lot of information on or don't know where to turn to. Um, I like to, I like to be that, that focal point for them. So this will be a part one of two. Um, today is Sunday. Uh, I've got, uh, the protocol how it's been explained to me is there's going to be six treatments. I've got my first appointment on Monday, uh, and then Wednesday and then Friday and then the weekend off, and then the following Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, as it's been explained to me by Mind and Body, uh, that, and this is typically, you know, nationwide as the research is coming out, that uh, about you know, five to six sessions of ketamine at about 60 to 90 minutes per uh, intravenous infusion, um, each session within, you know, no more than three days apart, and no no less than one day apart as well. Like you can't, you know, not back to back, but no more than three days apart. And they, they're, they're coming to the conclusion that that is the best uh, protocol for ketamine infusion treatments to um, mainly target either, you know, pain management or uh, treatment, de uh, treatment resistant depression. That is people that have typically, uh, they've been on SSRIs or have tried different SSRIs and they have not worked. Um, and the, the, the pharmacology, I'm a little, I'm not as versed as, you know, I probably should be, but to my understanding, uh, ketamine works on a, a different, uh, a neural, a different neural network pathway than the typical SSRIs. Um, ketamine is a dissociative sedative. It's also an anesthetic, uh, used in, um, ER or operating rooms. Um, but you know, at a, at varying doses, ketamine can, can, can do a lot of things. Uh, it's, it's called a dirty molecule and it has a lot of purposes depending on what, you know, how you're applying it. And um, in the cases of uh, ketamine infusion treatments, um, ketamine acts as a, you know, that dissociative. So just like plant medicines like mushrooms or LSD, uh, all these different plants, what they do is they put you in a different a state of consciousness. They're conscious altering substances. So when you are able to uh, remove yourself from your, your, your normal state of thinking, you are then able to, you know, remove yourself from like a, a traumatic situation or a memory or um, depressive patterns that have caused you or that they've afflicted you to exist a certain way. And when you can dissociate from those patterns, you know, you can, you can start to work on, you know, the roots of that trauma. So in addition to my own personal, you know, I've, everyone's got their own shit to work on. You know, I, wor I work on mine uh, diligently, I would say. Um, in addition to working on my own stuff, I also, the, you know, there's a second part to why I do these medicines, and that is um, th there's a term called psycho psycho spiritual exploration, which is, you're, you know, just exploring different states of consciousness because of what those states of consciousness can offer you in, in, in terms of perspectives. You know, if you, if, you, if you can change your perspectives on things, um, you're able to look at life a little bit differently. So I want to make a before and after 
for my succession uh, ketamine and transfusion treatments um, with mind and body. Um, I've, I've watched a handful of other YouTube videos, you know, people's testimonies or uh, people describing like their befores and afters. And from what I've seen, I would say almost all of it is positive. You know, people go in and they have something that, you know, that brought them there, obviously, that was really um, ailing them. And they were able to remedy that with, with these treatments. Um, ketamine, depending on your clinic, it's not, it's not legal in every state. Um, you have to you know, look that up to, depending on where you're at, there may or may not be a clinic nearby. Um, and different clinics administer ketamine in different ways. It can be intramuscular. Um, it can be, you know, there, there's lozenges that you can take. Uh, so orally, uh, there's a nasal spray, which is not actually ketamine. I believe it's called S-ketamine. Um, but it's a, it's, it's almost like a pro drug that, that I believe it becomes ketamine once it's metabolized. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent on that. Don't, don't quote me, but, um, uh, there's also the intravenous route. Um, and mine, mine is going to be that intravenous. So, uh, directly into the bloodstream for a 60 to 90 minute infusion. Um, little details about the clinic and the, and the undergoing is, I'm not allowed to drive myself to the clinic or after the clinic. So, um, you know, there's, there's a recovery time and, and whatnot. So I have uh, dependable friends who have agreed to, to uh, transport me to and from the clinic on, on my six appointment days. So there's those logistics to consider. Um, pricing, it's, I wouldn't say it's the most affordable thing in the world, but none of these ceremonies, the, the plant ceremonies outside of the U.S. never... They're never <sighs> affordable either, uh, and that's that's one of the big stalls on. You know what sucks about these medicines is that they can do miraculous things, but they're not always they're not always readily accessible to everybody. So and that's that's a big reason of why I do what I do is you know all year round I don't spend my money on 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 much. You know I, I work a lot and I save, and once or twice a year I will. I'll you know I'll go. I've been to Peru twice. You know I went. Um, Flew over next door to, um, where'd go, Ohio? Yeah, for uh, Native American, the, the peyote ceremony. Um, this December, I'll be flying to Africa if I can scrape up enough funds. Um, but that's what I do, you know, I, I don't spend my money on much else. I, I try to save for these, what I would consider life, life-changing and life-altering for the, for the better substances. Um, so ketamine is gonna be one of those. And to circle back, each treatment uh, is coming out to about three hundred and thirty dollars. You know, I I personally get a discount just for being a vet, but it's only like ten percent. So, you know, even with a discount, it comes out to about a little over two thousand. On top of before you can be considered eligible for ketamine infusion treatment, you know, you have to speak with one of their approved clinicians, um, and that's you know that's to weed out people that are just trying to come in and, uh, uh, you know, I just want to get fucked up on ketamine, so I'm going to go down to the clinic and pay them to shoot me up. It's, you know, these clinicians are there to screen out who actually, who they think needs it and who doesn't. And my scheduled appointment was about, you know, it was an hour long window and that turned into an hour 45 conversation. Um, I had to really dig for my eligibility because, you know, I can't call myself depressed, so I'm not fighting off any you know, chronic or crippling depression because I am able to get out of my bed every day and do what I need to do. Um, anxiety. I personally feel like I'm anxiety ridden. I, I live anxious, but I mean, I feel like everyone does because that's part and parcel of being a person. Um, anxiety is just a part of life. And I mean, unless it's crippling, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's not a disease that needs to be managed, but I was able to, um, convey that I think I have a, what she would call a generalized anxiety disorder, which would more be like a blanket or an umbrella term to encapsulate somebody saying that, hey, I may or may not have some things that I wanna work on up here and I should at least be eligible to try. Um, that's a big thing with these plant medicines that I think a lot of us on the side of advocacy are trying to fight for is just the right to try. I don't think everyone needs to be eligible to be able to partake or participate in ingesting something into their own body that is going to benefit them in some kind of way. And, you know, absent abuse, I think 
all of these medicines are good for most people, you know, considering you don't have a pre-existing medical condition that would react adversely to those substances. So, uh, yeah, this will be a before. Um, I'm going to make another video of after my six treatments covering what it was like, um, how the protocol went, uh, what I liked and didn't like, if I took anything away from it. Um, I'm slightly excited but nervous. I'm always nervous to, you know, do something with my brain that I have never done before. But again, I, I, I trust that, you know, there's a lot of research saying that it's great. It helps people. Even if you're not there to necessarily treat anything specific, you're still open to psycho-spiritual exploration. And I mean, it's a win-win for me. Either I, I do end up working on something that maybe I didn't need or I didn't know I needed to work on, or I at least get to experience something. And then another big part of this, of why I do what I do, is so that I can speak on these things. So that one day if someone does come to me and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing ayahuasca, or I heard somebody talking about a peyote ceremony, do you think I could be a part of that? I can say, well, I've done that, and here's what I thought, and here's where I went, and here's who my shamans were, or my practitioners, or my clinic, and I can yay or nay, you know, the, the merit of those people. I can say, avoid these clinics, or these top three retreats. Like, I know where to send people um, to have a safe and effective experience so that someone doesn't have a bad experience somewhere else so i like to uh play a part in that so this will be part one and then i will put out part six after my well part two after my sixth uh infusion uh session so i'll see you guys then